Hey, what's up guys? Back here just doing another video. Whenever I do these rosters each year, whenever I do these updates, I always get curious and I do a lot of simulations just to see how things play out. I want to make sure that the teams are good, that are supposed to be good, and the teams that are supposed to be bad are bad. Padres. Not pointing fingers, <laughs> but I do a lot of simulations, so I want to make sure everything's accurate before I put these out for you guys. So I got this idea. What I wanted to do was jump in a dynasty mode here. I'm loading up the, the roster file that you'll get. Let's go ahead and create a new dynasty. And I want what I wanted to do was I wanted to see if I look at the roster now versus 5, 10, 15, and 20 years, how would things look? What would the top players look like? Now obviously now and then five and ten years out, you'll you'll still have a lot of the the younger stars maybe that are in their prime. Fifteen years out you'd have maybe a lot of the young guys coming up. But I wanted to take a look at that and I'll show you guys the five, ten, and fifteen, twenty year simulations because I actually did those, so they'll be also part of this video. But go ahead and jump into this. I'm going to go ahead and do a fantasy draft. And what we're going to do is have me go first because I want to see who the best players are overall. Obviously, I can only do this with the players now. I mean, in this current roster. You can't do that when you start simulating things out. But I'll show you guys that when we get there. So go ahead and hit accept. All this other stuff doesn't matter. Pick any team you want, really doesn't matter. Main thing is we're just we're just looking to see who the top players are. So, well, Kershaw, Trout, Grinky, Goldschmidt, Sale, Bumgarner, Bryce, Altuve, Arietta, Avado, Scherzer. <laughs> no surprise, right? You see these names here, so you can kind of get an idea of who the better players are. Go ahead and scroll through these here a little bit. So, I like to call him Mike. It's a little South Florida inside joke. Scroll through a few more of these here so you can see these guys. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and then go ahead and get into those simulations I did, show those to you guys. All right, guys, thanks to the power of video editing, we're back here. The team I selected was San Diego. They're a bad team. I went ahead and selected them. Now, with this, I didn't do anything in terms of mini games, signing free agents. I would just sim through everything, sim through spring training, sim through the free agent signings, everything like that for every season to just kind of move things along. So I actually even though they were bad pretty much every year, never made the playoffs. They only finished over 500 maybe two or three times. Got fired after the 19th season. Actually, almost made it all the way. Got fired after the 19th season. Arizona offered me the job, so I went ahead and accepted that so I can kind of finish it out and go to the 20th season. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the fifth season. Now, this, this is prior to the start of the fifth season, so. Go ahead and take a look at the players here, and I'll just, I'll just go through the teams here and kind of scroll through the teams so you can see the top players on each team. Just like I said, so you can get an idea five years out who the top players are for each team. I'll try not to go through this too quick so you can kind of see how things have changed over five years. Giants. Beowulf Glowed. Obviously a drafted player at some point. Beowulf. And if you're going through this and you want to pause it just to see, hey, 
my favorite team, what are, what's it going to look like? Go ahead and do that. Like I said again, try not to go through it too quick, at least so you have a chance to go ahead and look through the teams and <laughs> Texas signed Giancarlo Stanton. <laughs> just so you can get an idea of who the top players are. And you'll see guys have moved around. Same thing here. He's with the Phillies, of course. That's, uh, while I'm doing this, that's one of the things I wanted to touch on. Oh, Chris Archer. Wanted to touch on kind of the nuances of the game, and you guys have noticed this. When you, when you go off into subsequent seasons, the computer, for whatever reason, They'll go ahead and leave this, these huge bankrolls. Teams after four or five years will have $60 million in the bank. And, they, and yet they're not even signing their own free agents. As you can see there, Tampa let Chris Archer walk for whatever reason. It, to me, it doesn't make any sense. But hey, it's good fun. Uh, it's easy to knock the game now, but... They did the best they can, or the best they could at the time. What I've also noticed when I simulate every season that goes out, for whatever reason, the computer will elect to to sign these garbage players, like these these scrub pitchers that I that I put in the game, um, guys that are retired and everything. And I talk about this in my eBay in the ad itself for the auction. So hopefully you're familiar with that, but they'll choose to sign those guys and then there'll be 30 or 40, 50 relievers per year left in the free agent pool. Doesn't make any sense to me, but that's how it is when they, when they created the game, so. <laughs> Puig on the Astros. All right, back to San Diego. All right, guys, go ahead. Uh, we're back. We're going to go ahead and load up the simulation in the 10th season. Still San Diego. Go ahead and take a look. I would expect to see a lot more changes than we saw at the five-year mark. Looks like a lot of these guys here are still legitimate players that are in the game. <laughs> There's our guy, Beowulf Glowed. He's still there. The reason I wanted to do this was I wanted to... <laughs> For two reasons, one for myself and, and also for you guys. I wanted to see how how things would be if you're a guy that likes to play many seasons, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just to see how these rosters sustain over time. You don't want to have rosters that that are only good for a year and you see the overall talent of the players start to drop off gameplay would get pretty ragged at that point, I think. Huh. Bryce is still there 10 years later. Trout. Another thing I noticed about the long-term simulation, as you can see here, Al Moore is an example. Let's look at Bryant. Eh, same kind of thing. Soto, not so much. Rizzo, not so much. If there's a five-star player, Moncada is one of them. If there's a five-star player in the current roster, the one you guys would get, 
it, it's almost guaranteed that he's going to end up right here with, with like you see with Ben and Tendi, a hundred and a hundred. Peraza the same way. And again, this is just simulating way out. I figure most of you guys don't go this far out anyway, but it's just interesting how the game is where five-star pitchers, five-star hitters, guaranteed to be become superstars. And you see the same in other sports games. EA Sports, I should say, NCAA 14 comes to mind. If you land a five-star or four-star guy or some guy whose rating is really high, by the time he graduates, he'll be a 99 overall. And of course, it's not like that. Sometimes guys are busts, right? Alright guys, we're back here take a, taking a look at the 15-year simulation now. Now this is the one where you'd really expect to see a lot of the young guys, maybe even they would be up in their 30s by then. So with this one I would expect to see a lot of guys that were coming through the draft, possibly. And uh, one thing I forgot to add was I'm, I actually haven't looked at these when I was doing this and when I'm filming this, this is actually my first time seeing this, just like it's your guys' first time seeing this. So it's interesting for me to... Matt Little. But Bumgarner's still around. Strasburg still around. What are the odds of that, right? Strasburg staying healthy that long? Trout. Looks like Trout finally started to slide a little bit. I'll go ahead and go back to Trout real quick and take a look at his career numbers at this point. Huh? Almost a 500 500 guy. <laughs> It'll take. Uh, I wouldn't expect to see him in the 20 year simulation, of course. Let's take a look at Bryce, too. I guess he's on the White Sox now. Hey, look at his numbers. That's still almost 100 100, almost for both. Uh, eh. Pretty good. Hall of Fame numbers, right? <laughs> you see some of these names, though, right? You can tell some of them aren't aren't guys that were in the game. A few. Surprisingly, these have held up pretty well at the 15-year mark. A lot of these younger guys I've created, these prospects, I use MLB for that. Check out each team's prospects and, and go ahead and create those. Try to keep the game fresh and give it some longevity, which is good to see here. Correa's still around. Yeah, I'd be curious to see if any of these guys are around at the 20-year mark. These big-name guys, of course. Severino, let's see how he's doing. Huh, 236 wins. All right, guys, we're loading up the 20-year here. And like I said, I got canned at the end of the 19th season with San Diego. Arizona picked me up. The thing, I know, the thing that I thought was pretty interesting was even through the 20 years, 
LA, they were winning the division almost every year. I wouldn't stop and look at the standings every year. I mean, I'd kind of flip through it just to get a basic idea. But yeah, they were winning every year. San Diego was finishing fourth or fifth every year. So interesting how even after 20 years, it stayed that way. Ah, Greeky got the 300. Yeah, you see now, I mean, come on. These guys are our drafted players. Raymond Maselli, Trot Ortiz, Chris Pratt. I'm not even going to say anything about that. Yeah, Eloy's still there. Hmm. And Moncada. <laughs> Mike Cabrera. Oh, look at this one. Eric LeBron. That's the thing I was going to say I love. I'm going to I'm going to do a draft video and kind of show you what I do with the draft. I actually edit the draft when I play my dynasty. I find that if you don't, it gets really bad. For instance, and it may take a while, but if you look here, look at the overall ratings of these guys. You see the top players still not anything special when you would have at least a couple guys way over on the ratings bar, right? You see here, the ratings overall have started to drop a little bit. But actually, it's not that bad. Anyway, as I scroll through this, we'll talk about... Correa's still there. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. Is it going for 4,000 hits? Anyway, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and do a draft video. And that might be a few weeks from now. I have another thing I'm going to work on with the rosters, but... At that point, I'll show you what I do, just so you can get an idea. And I edit the, the draft. I try to give each team um, five and four star players based on how they finish in the standings, just to kind of keep things livened up. I said because what I've noticed when I play, and I actually go through several, several seasons of this, is the draft, even if you're picking at the top of the draft, for the teams that are top five, top ten, anybody in the first round, the first several seasons, you'll have guys that are one-star guys. The number one draft pick can be a, a one-star guy. And, and that guy, one, two, three-star guys even, those guys are never going to make it to the major leagues. They're never going to make an impact in the league. And so when I, when I started to notice this through some of the simulations, some time ago I decided, hey, I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out a way to edit the draft and see if I can you know, do some things and keep it lively. But anyway, I'll talk about that when I put that video out in a few weeks. Alright, almost done here. Wolf Castle. What I like in the draft is when you see these funny names come across. Doesn't look like we have that many of them here, huh? Here's another Burley, an M Burley. Oh, it's a Mark Burley. <laughs> Almost the same. <laughs> Yoshi. It's the Angels. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down, see if I can find Trout here. See if he's still hung on for all that time. Just curious to see if he did and how things would have turned out. Yeah, it looks like he, he hung it up by then. All right, so there you go, guys. Five uh, current, 5, 10, 15, and 20-year simulations. Fun stuff. Hopefully you guys learned a lot about the rosters from this, just seeing that that they do have a lot of, a lot of durability to them. You know, surprising to me, and that's the way I hope when I am when I'm always designing these by creating all the prospects and everything just to be able to have rosters that can keep it fresh for you guys for a long time nobody's going to play 20 seasons with them of course you, you each probably play a season or two and then buy the next roster the next year but if you're out there and you ever wanted to do any simulations just to see how things looked 
It's interesting to see, right? I saved you, I saved you all that time. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for hanging in there. It's a long video. Okay, take care, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, go ahead and leave it. If you want to see anything, go ahead and let me know about it. Take care, guys.